I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh... He wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you $100 in fees. I'm feeling fine. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run. And, uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But... I'll give you a permit for 50. Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. Appending the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Well, I see you didn't get the message last time. Well, I'll be keeping an eye on you, that's for sure. Now you're just taking up space in my police ass. Come on, sir. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Ugh. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. coming together wonderfully. The final piece of the puzzle. Boy. 
Never shall a man have been so humanely dispatched as this poor Take it easy. Ah! 
I'm here for Wilson McDank. Don't want anyone else. Who the hell is this fella? Shit, he got a visit. <laughs> I'm here for Wilson McDaniels. Anyone gets in the way, gets a... Someone here for you. Get. Ah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
son of a bitch. Come on. I got a special treat for you. <laughs> Born free! Born free! I was born free, goddamn you! This is uh, very kind of you. Take me to damn cork, then. This ain't America. We ain't free no more. Can't raise no animals, take no wives. All I did was graze my livestock. Married them that needed marrying, and killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. It's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. Sounds like sour grapes. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't going to die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's going to be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor. Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on to kill you, humanely. No! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. I guess that's why he's a professor and I'm the bounty catcher. Well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. They wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? You ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniel? I ain't ever seen the actual impact. I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air. The smell of burning hair. You know, there must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned. Half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, <laughs> I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no, sir. It was lightning. Electricity does something, all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I see lightning do. But, you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
she'll be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Come on, then. Ha! Bring him here. over here. I got him. You're wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. Let's go, boy. Right away, huh? I work to live, not live to work. <laughs> 